Okay, because uh, we, we, we're quite interested, you know, there's, there's things like .NET, yeah. Java, C++, C Sharp, and what have you, but somehow they don't seem to have the community that things like Aave and Avalanche and Polygon and, you know, any of these layer one or layer twos or, or tokens have, or even <laughs> NFTs do. Why do you think there's such a difference between, you know, traditional technology and this new technology? Where is, why is there so much more community around this new technology? I'll give you the easiest answer I could think of off the top of my head. The difference between a businessman and an entrepreneur, there's a thin line and that's what makes the difference. The difference between someone who goes to university and someone who got taught it their self, that's what I kind of see. I kind of see that the traditional ways have stuck to traditional ways. The new platforms, the new cryptos, the new stuff, they are adopting the new way of thinking, which is new ways of building community, which is brand building. People didn't understand brands as much, I would say, before Virgin. You know, before that it was a company or a business. When Virgin came out, it's a brand and it has different things. So just a new way of thinking and a new way of breaking something down is the reason why certain people are winning more than others in this space. That's what I think. Okay, I think one analogy which might strengthen what you're saying is, I don't know whether you know, but Ali G gave a talk at Harvard, Harvard University a few years ago. No. And it was the first time they'd ever invited someone of that ilk. Um, it did, he did very well, actually. Um, mm. A little bit like Ricky Gervais and the Golden Grammys. But um, I, think, I think we're seeing this kind of change in society where different types of individuals, you know, just look at the conferences in the fintech space alone. Mm. You know, we've got so many actors and singers yeah, yeah. and Acoin doing yeah. things as yeah. well now. You don't have to be one track minded, or you don't have to be, you know when they say jack of all trades, it's now being embraced. It's the opposite. Before it was, you can't be a master of, you know, a jack of all trades, a master of none. Now it's, you can't just master one thing. You need a few things. So it's kind of reversed. So yeah. yeah, I definitely think the more, not entertaining, but the more, what would we call it? Influence. It's influence. influence, more kind of. Interest. Casual, not casual, but you, what do you stand for? Mm -hmm. Not your qualifications. What's your personality like? Not what you're trained to do. That's what it is. Before, yeah, that's what it is. Before it's more what you're trained to do. What's your qualifications? It's more rigid. Yeah. Now it's what creativeness have you got, which makes you different. You know, even when President Trump bring out the bill that degrees have less influence than the people who do, who actually do the physical, I back that. Since why I'm in the university right now, you know, as in, I didn't go to uni. I don't have a degree, but I got offers in the uni. I didn't do it the traditional way. I've done it the new way. That's how I see it. Yeah, no, that's good. That's mm -hmm. good. I mean, this this argument's been around for a while in the HR world. I think all the big four consultancies have also dropped their requirements now when it comes to new graduates. But I think a lot of this has happened since COVID. Yes. I think this is probably. I think, a, I think it's been fast tracked. Yes, since COVID.